Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos, and today we're going to be taking a look at another app review for the iPhone, and I believe it's also available for the iPod Touch, known as Zinio. So as you open up Zinio here, you'll be featured with three articles that come by default with the actual program, or the application, uh, which is actually free in the App Store. Uh, now, it's a free app, but the service itself is paid, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, so that's one of the big, you know, uh, cons of the application. Basically, what this app allows you to do, it allows you to take your... Uh, magazine content and it ports it over to a digital format, kind of like the the magazine scanned. They scan, you know, uh, stuff like uh, you can see here, iPhone Life, PC World magazines or PC magazines, uh, the Smithsonian Magazine, and they update you on the latest issues. You can subscribe. They have free samples here for you to try out. Um, you can shop for more. Um, so it is a paid service, but a free application. So um, just to show you here, I'm gonna go into one. Now, the actual application itself, um, you can view through here, so you have uh, multiple, you can go through table of contents where you can see four pages laid out. Um, it's exactly how it would look like and if you had the actual magazine, just the high quality scans. Um, you can view a table of contents through this way, you know, written table of contents rather than visual. Um, and you can obviously go back and forth through your pages or you can simply go up and uh, left and right using the touch functionality. Now. Um, on the text here, this is an iPhone 4, so if I zoom in, text is pretty readable. I mean, uh, the the text is actually really, really clear. I mean, I can go through, and I can, you know, it'd be a nice way to consume media. I can even read it like this, but, you know, it is kind of small, so it's not the best way to navigate through. But one thing that is hot, really horrible, even with the retina display, is the images. I don't know if whether or not they're just taking a while to load, or, they, they're, you know, the way they're scanned in, they just look really, really grainy, even when I'm all the way zoomed in. Even you can see the author's picture here, really, really grainy. While the text, even on this, this is the retina display, looks amazing. The text looks awesome. I can read it, um, and, you know, it's bearable on the eyes. But um, on the other hand, pictures are just horrible. The quality really, really just sucks. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that's retina display or not. It just really sucks. Um, but other than that, uh, navigating through the uh, actual magazine, you do get, a uh, you know, a nice feeling of, just being able to read it how you would you'd get the uh, you know how you would get it in a actual magazine format you know the pictures the article the author the way it's laid out and if you're a big fan of magazines like I were especially when I was getting into technology it's a nice port for your iPhone now, I really think this is an app you should get if you're on the iPad essentially if you're going to be subscribing to magazines or if you're already such uh, you know a subscriber of magazines you want to stop paying the actual physical subscription fee get it on your iPhone get it on your iPad uh, this is the app for you. Um, but like I said, uh, everything handles pretty well navigating through and the feel of it and everything. Just the pictures are really, which I hope they would fix in a future update. It's just one of the things that really sucks in terms of quality and the scans that they get in. All right, now going back here, you can sort by title, you can sort by date, you can get it, you can edit and delete stuff. They'll tell you how much uh, space you have available on your device up here, and you can remove it from there. The download button right here, or you can get more titles. Uh, if you have missing titles, maybe maybe you bought one and it's not there. Now the shopping category here is where you can actually buy stuff. Now they have multiple, you know, categories from featured, new arrivals, top sellers. Uh, I'm just gonna go into science and tech here. Now the one thing I don't like about what this does uh, in terms of when you open up uh, to shop, what it's gonna do is gonna open up a Safari window. It's not actually built in to the uh, built into the uh, actual application. Like I'll show you all of these um, applications or magazines that you can subscribe to from here which you know are depending on the issue uh, varies on price and stuff like that and how long you know subscription plans um, loading for these images again the image images are something that I would really hope that they would kind of fix the text and everything works great um, and as that, as that loads they even have a feature I don't think I showed off here but for some places in the articles if you just want to get the text layout you can click the text button and it just takes all the pictures out you get a condensed version of the article within, you know, only in text. Or you can view the whole page, how it would be presented in the magazine. But anyways, going back to the shopping thing here, you can see you have Macworld magazines. You can navigate through the editions they have. You can click one, and you can get this issue, or you can get the whole issue of the, uh, you know, subscription to the service. And again, like I said, it varies on price. But I think if you're going to make a media-rich content app like this, you're going to need faster, you know, load times, uh, whether they can make the thumbnails, you know, cache or whatever maybe you know, and just load quicker because the app itself is kind of sluggish you know navigating through the magazines is okay downloading is okay I guess that depends on your connection um, you can see here 12 digital issues will get you, will run you about 48 50 so 48 dollars to get 12 issues you can buy the issue alone 
for five dollars, that's still a little bit pricey. I mean, it's within the whole. If you're used to spending that, you know, five dollars, two dollars on apps, uh, you can get a full digital magazine. But I really think that they should include higher prints. Maybe I actually haven't purchased an actual issue, so maybe in the issues they actually provide higher prints. Maybe it's just the um, the free ones that they don't provide the high prints. But I, I would think if you're going to sell a product, you would provide you know that high quality print within the free issues as well, just to show off the app. Um, uh, you don't you don't get a preview, so you don't really get to see what's in it. I guess it tells you kind of a description. But other than that, you can't. Uh, you can subscribe or buy the issue. There is no, you know, preview. Maybe first one or two pages. So that's another big con. Um, and lastly, more basically, you have an account. You can look at legal notices, sign out. You can have a backup of your stuff. You have the FAQ for your frequently asked questions, and of course, changing your password and your account will be set up with your email right there. Overall, I think Zinio is. It, it had a great, uh, you know, uh, what do you call that? It has a great basis of what they want to do with the application. It has a great idea. But I really think that their technology isn't there yet. I mean, this would be awesome, more likely on an iPad than on the iPhone. But I mean, I, there's a lot of updates they still have to do. I wouldn't recommend downloading it right now unless you're like, if you're, if you're looking and you want to, you know, buy one article for five bucks, just test it, see how it is, go ahead and try that. But as of right now, I would say wait for the updates, wait till they get some higher quality prints and scans and stuff like that, maybe more issues, and make the app a little bit more fluent. So until then, uh, guys, this is Adrian here signing out. And again, this is a review of Zinio. For the iPhone, uh, this is on the iPhone 4 actually, but I believe it works on multiple models. Um, I'm gonna have to say, giving it at a total rating of at least only maybe only 2.5 out of 5 stars because I really wasn't satisfied with the app. It is free, but you know, pay uh, it's a paid service overall. But, anyways, check it out in the App Store, Zinio, uh, and leave your opinions and thoughts on the comments below. Anyways, guys, don't forget to check out our latest videos and subscribe. All right, thanks for watching.